I got. Got a little update. We got all the insulation, all the wires running the ceiling. We got the ceiling up. We got the air conditioners in place. We got the lights up and working. Starting to kind of come together for everything. We got the door in place. Decided I'm gonna go with aluminum trim instead of a wood molding around everything. All the screws and stuff I went with stainless steel. Screws with uh, dressing washers. Good thing will work, right? Now working on the top section of the cabinets, making the back for it and some of the face. Then we're gonna start running the rest of the wires down in the floor. Got all the cabinets for them. for the kitchen. Decided to go with the pre-made stuff from Lowe's. No countertop to go with it. I got a sink base, a 30-inch sink base. I got a 12-inch cabinet with a drawer, and a 24-inch cabinet with a drawer. I'm gonna fit the stove in between that somewhere. Um, power station for our solar system all ready to go we got the 3500 watt pretty shine wave inverter 60 amp two stage lithium converter to keep the batteries maintained 300 amp 100 amp hour lifo 4 batteries which uh Hopefully that's going to be enough for me. And here we got a little shunt gauge so that's going to put my meter on the wall so I can see what's happening with everything and put my batteries and everything. On an inverter, I got a remote starting on off switch. It's going to be going in a different location. We'll get to that later. So, I say all this area right here has got more, more than enough stuff in it. It doesn't need any more. Still have to put the stove on the top up there. We got the kitchen sink in. One thing left to do with it is put this plumb the, the drain on it. And that's gonna be ready to go. Countertops. Cabinets. Little, look at work the handles are put on there. And in this cabinet over here. That's where they got the little blower for the septic system. Keep it aerated. We got upper cabinets. Microwave. All my controls. Radio. Fuel. Water, water gauge. And inside this cabinet. We got them. We have 800 watts of solar power. Solar panels coming through. That's going to tie all this stuff in. Got a weed left to go on that. Got all the paneling up. Air conditioning in the bedroom. Four lights. So we have the trim to put around the, the walls and the ceiling. Have a window installed here. And another window right here. And on the back side of the kitchen cabinet, we've got a couple of speakers for the radio. And we're gonna put the television right in the, right in the middle of that so we can lay down and watch our television when there ain't nothing else to do for raining or whatever. 
little index storage. Still have the bathroom put together. A little small tub. It's like 24 by 30 inches, I think it all it is. Not very big at all. A little small lavatory. Come over, we gotta, gotta raise it up. A little bit too short side. And here, we got the fresh water pump for our fresh water. We have to pump out the for our dishwasher and uh, taking our showers with. Back here, I have a fresh water pump that's gonna pump out of the canals and bayous to operate the toilet water. And we're using use some waste and fresh water for the toilet to get that from the bayou. Little stove, we'll get ready to put that in place here shortly in a couple of minutes. Get all that plumbed in. More windows in the bathroom. A couple more in the dining area. Still got up here to, to finish closing and have to run all the wires from the solar panels. It's coming along, guys. A lot of mess with all the wires coming everywhere, so I have to take care of. Tons of wire coming down from the ceiling. My switches for my my lights, my pumps, radio. I right, got doing a little test run with the air condition, running off the battery system. And it seems to uh, be doing everything just fine. You know, maintaining 12.9 volts right here. The solar system saying also 12.8, close enough. And after running the air conditioning for about a half hour. We're gonna see that. Looks like we're pulling with the constable running, we're pulling 16 amp, which is not bad. We used up about uh, three and a half hours of battery. And 1.7 percent of the battery, and about a half hour's runtime. So it's just it's doing pretty good. I'm thinking the constable boat is going to keep about the same power as the solar system wheel, which is all staying pretty cool. Shut the air conditioning back off just to check and voltage come back up to 13 and a half volt. And the constant voltage charging. At a rate of, oh, let's see if we can. We 
That's 60.7 amps that's charging at. Fan on the constant won't find it kicked on, so it's gonna do its job. That's great. Well, anyhow, it's not gonna, not gonna be too long where I'm gonna start on putting the bathroom together. Got a little tub in and a little toilet. We gotta build some platforms and raise everything kind of up off the, off the floor a few inches. A little sink for the, for the laboratory. So, yeah. so we got the stove all finished up. Just got to close in the bottom by the batteries on there. Make that look a little nice. Top cameras, so I'm going to finish those after we get the solar panels on the roof. We still have a bunch more wires to come in. So we got the solar panels going to tie into the bus bars which is going to come into this 100 amp solar charge controller which is going to leave there and come on down and hit the batteries and keep those charged up nice and nice and sweet so i got to put the floor back in right here and cut out for the piping and all the wiring just screw back down The same thing up here, got a, got a little notch in the floor so all that can clear. And we're going to use the, the center pontoon to get the fresh air from the, from the back of the cabin. Come on down through. We'll leave a little open up here in the front. Whereas we'll get the fresh air for the central heat. And hopefully that's going to get everything circulating real good when it's winter time. A lot of mess in here to get cleaned up. Water heat is about 90% complete. Still got windows to cut out. Pretty place. When the windows, the bracket that holds the windows in place were just a little bit, wouldn't quite match up to the wall so it's from where they're coming out. So I'm having to take some aluminum flat board Make me some mounts to keep the window in place, which not no big deal. We're gonna, we're gonna make it work. Hope I could have got away without doing something like that, but it is what it is. 